Hello traders, this is Orlando for Tradimo and, we're, and we are watching the uh, uh, the live feed on uh, Theresa May's uh, Brexit plan boat. Uh, and on the left we have a chart of the British pound against the US dollar on the 4 hour uh, time frame and uh, we are going to see what happens uh, with uh, uh, the pound after the, um, the votes are, are counted. Um, it's estimated that uh, Theresa May is going to lose by 150 votes, but if uh, if uh, she loses or, or if the loss is bigger than the last vote, these things could get really, really ugly for the pound. So what we're going to do, we're going to watch and wait and see what happens. For the time being, I'm going to stop the video and when they start counting the votes, we are going to go back live. Here we go, here we go. On the assumption that he can get anywhere near them. <laughs> da! Oh, da! The eyes to the right, 242. The nose to the left, 391. Oh boy, oh boy. 242. Oh, we have a decision. The eyes to the right, 242. The nose to the left, 391. So the nose have it, the nose have it. Unlock. Let's go back to the 15 hour chart. So the nose have it, uh, 242 votes. Let's listen to Theresa May. This house has taken to I continue to believe that by far the best outcome is that the United Kingdom leaves the European Union in an orderly fashion with a deal. And that the deal we've negotiated is the best and indeed the only deal available. But Mr Speaker, I would like to set out briefly how the government means to proceed. Two weeks ago, I made a series of commitments from this dispatch box regarding the steps we would take in the event that this House rejected the deal on offer. I stand by those commitments in full. Therefore, tonight we will table a motion for debate tomorrow to test whether the House supports leaving the European Union without a deal on the 29th of March. That's interesting. The Leader of the House will shortly make an emergency business statement confirming the change to tomorrow's business. This is an issue of grave importance for the future of our country. Just like the referendum, there are strongly held and equally legitimate views on both sides. For that reason, I can confirm that this will be a free vote on this side of the House. I, <clears throat> and I have personally struggled with this choice, as I'm sure many other honourable members will. Yeah. I'm passionate about delivering the result the of the referendum, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I equally passionately believe that the best way to do that is to leave in an orderly way with a deal. Yeah. And I still believe that there is a majority in the House for that course of action. And I'm conscious also, and I'm conscious also of my duties as Prime Minister of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and of the potential damage to the Union that leaving without a deal could do when one part of our country is without devolved governance. I can therefore confirm that the motion will read that this House declines to approve leaving the European Union without a withdrawal agreement and a framework on the future relationship on the 29th of March 2019 and notes that leaving without a deal remains the default in UK and EU law unless this House and the EU ratify an agreement. I will return to the House to open the debate tomorrow and to take interventions from honourable members and to ensure the House is fully informed in making this historic decision. The Government will tomorrow publish information on essential policies which would need to be put in place if we were to leave without a deal. These will cover our approach to tariffs and the Northern Ireland border, among other matters. If the House votes to leave without a deal on the 29th of March, it will be the policy of the government to implement that decision. If the House declines to approve leaving without a deal on the 29th of March, the government will, following that vote, 
bring forward a motion on Thursday on whether Parliament wants to seek an extension to Article 50. Yeah. If the House votes for an extension, the Government will seek to agree that extension with the EU and bring forward the necessary legislation to change the exit date commensurate with that extension. But let me be clear. Voting against leaving without a deal and for an extension does not solve the problems we face. The EU, the EU will want to know what use we mean to make of such an extension. And this House will have to answer that question. Does it wish to revoke Article 50? Does it want to hold a second referendum? <laughs> Does it, want, does it want to leave with a deal, but not this deal? These are unenviable choices. But thanks to the decision that the House has made this evening, they are choices that must now be faced. Point of order, Mr. Jeremy Corbyn. All right, all right. Uh, so let's talk about what just happened. Uh, will the no's have it, as you heard it, and uh, with a majority of 149 votes, so uh, what I told you before, that uh, the, we were um, expecting a loss of uh, by a majority of 150 votes, so we were right on the point right there, right on point there. So basically, uh, I think that this is a good thing uh, that we have um, uh, uh, less of a bid for, for the government's defeat on these votes. And uh, well, as you can see, the pound will just popped up, popped a little. But I mean, the, don't read too much into this because uh, we need to see what happens tomorrow when they open debate on whether they're going to be voting to live without a deal, which would be disastrous for uh, for the UK and for the pound, or if they are going to vote uh, for the deal. But what you need to keep in mind is that the Brexit is is a fact. They are going to leave the European Union. They are voting right right now on just how to leave it. Uh, they're going to leave it in an orderly fashion with a deal or not. Uh, so basically, we are going to have a look tomorrow what happens uh, with uh, this. And uh, I'll keep you guys updated. I hope you like this format. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.